So silver took a dip. Did you buy on the dip? You know I bought on the dip. Hey everyone, Silver Steeler here. And winning image photography. So it's roll number 14 time. Trying to get one roll a month. So stay on target to get 25 by the end of 2020. Yeah, and not 25 months. We've done it a lot shorter. So roll number 14 starts off with five that I previously have had. I believe they're all 2020s. I think we opened up these at the cabin. Yes, I know we did. There they are. Five 2020s. And so we'll put them upside down. And yeah, Silver doing a massive dip on the <clears throat> cough cough stuff. And, uh, you know, we took advantage like many other people did. And we've got five we got off at max. And I believe they're all 2020s too, aren't they? Yep, 2020. And then SD Bullion, I got 10 of those. Ah, I like the way they do that sometimes. So that's our goal. And what we decide with the new box or the new design, when that new design comes out, we're only going to do about two rolls a year. We're not going to take two years and fill a monster box. That was... Uh, <laughs> We didn't even, it isn't going to take us two years. We started like April or May of last year. Yeah. Well, I mean, still, it's taken away from, I've heard others say, you stack these things and it slowly becomes a thing you're stacking and you're not buying a lot of other things and we want to be able to buy many. Are you going to score those for me? Yeah, SD Bullion seems to have some of the best pricing I've seen on these of late. So I guess I'm going to have a full roll plus of the 2020s. That's for sure. Beautiful. Last year on this design. And I'll be really happy when I get that monster box back there filled. Because it'll just be a nice milestone. Yeah, it's done. Yeah. We'll take our time on the new design. I'll have a little story about a couple 20, no, what is it, 1997 Eagles I got off my LCS for 16 bucks a piece. And uh, they were, oh, what spot was around 16.50 at that time. And he went to a flea market. And I had him for 12.50 sitting there. So he was like, I'll take him for 12.50 a piece. So when I came in that day and I heard the story, I was like, well, what are you going to sell them to me for? He's like, I'll give them to you for 16 each. And that's still 50 cents under spot. Now it's only two. But man, how often do you get to buy a couple of eagles under spot? Usually you have to. And he's just not been getting very many in. Winter is always a little bit bare around his shop. So he's not getting a lot of eagles in. So whatever little bit he gets in, there's the 10 that I got from SD Bullion. Nice. You want to, hmm, gloves, these is not the easiest to do. They look just as spectacular. I didn't know how many of these 2020s I was going to start chasing, but now I know I got a roll plus of the 2020s, so... I love some of these uh, TV things with Mike Mizak on them where you got to get them 2020s where... It's the bookends. It's the bookends and, you know, they're going to be running low. And running low. I got no problems getting these 2020s from anywhere. I'm sure everyone else out there is the same way. They're going to make them until they fill every order. And then some, probably. Oh, yeah. Love them. Love the Eagles. They're liquid. It's going to be the foundation of my base, no doubt about it. At first, I didn't think so when I started getting a handful of Eagles. I still had a lot of generic bullion, and I thought that was the route I was going to go because it was so much cheaper. But after watching many of the community's videos out there expressing how this one is just so recognizable anywhere in the world, you should have no problem unloading your Eagles. It was about then that I decided... Well, that's what I got to do.
We should be able to unload them at a premium. Yeah. And way down the road, you know, right now when that thing gets filled, it's basically a $10,000 bill at today's prices, give or take a few hundred. So who knows what it's like 15 um, years down the road. Well, we bought a lot of them. Really good. When it was in the $14 spot range? Under spot even then. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're costing me a little bit more than what I was paying for them last year. No doubt about it. I sort of wish I had most of this done last year, but just wasn't wasn't part of our goals at that time. It was, but we were giving ourselves two years. Well, you know, you got to have shiny shinies. Other shiny shinies. Pretty pretties. So I got four more. This is the first one of four to add on to make a nice full roll of 2020s. Uh, I love that sound. Love my eagles. I really thought at first when I first got into stacking about a couple years ago that I would not be one of the ones charging off this at this coin very hard and fast. And wow. <laughs> what a difference a year makes. It really does. Because it's now become just not only a goal, but it's like, I've got to do it. My focus is purely on this. Not that I don't pick up some other shinies yet. I know Silver Britches and I talked about that. It's not the only thing I do. It just cuts back. I would probably put this extra money towards numismatics most of the time, you know, being the numismatic person that I am. But, you know, I realize the advantage of also stacking. And I shift back and forth. Sometimes I go into stacking mode, and then sometimes I flip back to my numismatics. Well, it's usually prices are high, we go to numismatics, and prices are low, we go back to stacking. True. Well, there you have it. Another 20, which is going to make up roll number 14. Finally, shiny. finally get one on the other side. So... Come on, come on. And now we are past. Not only past halfway, making a dent, first one, on the other side. So. And past the unlucky 13, we're, we, we're going. We got more coming in. Yes, we do. Got, got another roll coming in in a couple days because I bought two rolls during this dip. I wish I had more money. We bought Bye. three, kind of, because yeah. we had bought one from the LCS where it hasn't come in yet either. Yeah. So we got another couple rolls coming along. So we're going to try to maybe possibly get a little bit ahead of the game or stay very on track. We had slipped behind on our goal, but now not only are we on pace. Well, you can't really but... say we slipped behind because we started in April or May. 25 tubes in less than Still 25 months. doesn't matter. Months. Still a roll a month at this point. Yeah, we're getting there. All right, everyone, roll number 14 is complete. Remember to like, subscribe, and all those other good things. We'll see you on the next video. Goodbye, everyone.